Tonight, we're hearing from the family of a young man shot and killed at a meetup in West Phoenix. He was gunned down along with two other people. This was one of several shootings during what turned out to be a very violent weekend in Phoenix. Fox 10's Justin Lum live at Phoenix Police Headquarters with new details tonight. John, Christina, in this shooting, the three young men who were killed were all between the ages of 16 and 19. And a family member tells me they went to sell some shoes before tensions escalated. I'm sure none of them went there planning to die. 19-year-old Victor Manuel Cruz, 16-year-old Salvador Gomez, and 19-year-old Avery Young. The names of the victims killed in a quadruple shooting near 43rd Ave. Bethany home last Friday. The fourth victim is in the hospital, but expected to survive. To see these young people dying, you know, like I said, I, I even felt bad because I didn't even know it was my nephew involved. And we were really close when he was young. Avery Young's aunt, Margaret Torres, found out her nephew died hours after the deadly shooting. She says Young was always smiling, a good kid who loved his late grandmother. Police say the shooting stemmed from a meetup arranged via social media between two groups just after midnight. According to family, the boys were selling shoes. Since Friday, Phoenix police say there have been five incidents of gun violence, 10 people shot, seven dead and three injured. Torres, born and raised in Phoenix, says she does not recognize the city anymore. It scares me. I worry about my kids all the time. I have young, younger kids. Uh, just seeing this, I'm scared. Sadly, Young's family will never see him again. I have good memories, good memories of him, and, and I'm sure he didn't go there to kill anybody or anything like that. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but it's totally senseless. Now on Friday, police told us they had a man in custody in connection to this shooting, but as of now, no one has been booked. Live at Phoenix PD, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.